Former presidential spokesman Doyin Okube says the political crisis bedeviling River State has got to a point where it could seriously harm the nation's democracy. In an interview with Press on Sunday, Okube said that the crisis had the potential to destabilize the nation, if not weakly resolved. He described the rift between Governor Similaye Fubara of River State and his predecessor, the FCT minister, Mr. Yes Owike, as well as the attendant political turmoil in the state as unfortunate. Going down memory lane, one is sad to note that the feud between Wike and Fubara is comparable to that between late chief Obafemi Awolowo, the then premier of Western Region, and the then premier of Western Region, Chief Samuel Akentola. As remote and limited this crisis was then, it was one of the precursors of the collapse of that republic. He continues to say, it would be wise for the federal government and men of goodwill in River State and the entire nation to move in on this matter before it goes completely and uncontrollably out of hands. According to the ex-presidential spokesman, it is clear that only political solution can be effective in resolving all issues and all sides in the crisis. Recall that Wike and his successor, Fubara, have been engaged in political struggle over the control of the state for some months now, which has created tension in the state and polarized the state, the state assembly. The crisis escalated in the wake of the conduct of the October 5 council elections, the outcome of which led to violent destruction of some council secretariats by political thugs. The appeal court in Abuja on Thursday affirmed a lower court's decision nullifying the state's 2024 budget signed into law and being operated by Fobara, further creating uncertainty. The 800 Naira billion budget was passed in December 2023 by a faction of the State House of Assembly loyal to Fobara led by Edison. Uh, here. Uh, let me start with you, uh, Jackson Leko Ujo. You have been a regular on my show, and in the course of, in fact, the beginning of this crisis, you have, you have been a strong voice. And I want to know what you think about Doni Okube's statement. Do you think that political solution is what is needed at this point? Do not forget that a political solution was once attempted by the president, and it, it, it backfired, it didn't work. Do you see that working at this point in time? Genuine political solution is what the matter required now. All right. Not the kind of political solution uh, the interference of Mr. President <coughs> sometimes ago. All right. The political solution with the interference of Mr. President some uh, month back did not work because it was one-sided. OK. Truth, truth was not told by Mr. <coughs> President. Order was issued. Whereas Mr. President had no right, has no power to issue an order to a state governor. It is impossible. It is not done anywhere in the world. We are not under military dictators, dictatorship. So the, 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 the only solution, I think, is political relief. But he does not even need the intervention of Mr. President. Because Mr. President, no matter how Mr. President intervene, his interference, a lot of people will still notice some political uh, reasons there. That is to say, Mr. President must be seen as somebody that will be, would have been supporting his it minister. Has, he, Mr. President will be seen as a vested interest in this exactly. matter. Exactly. Right. Because Mr. President said something that time. He said to 27 members, he said, do you, do you see children walk into your house and you chase them away? So that one is still in the mind of every Nigerians and people across the globe. So that statement then was not a political intervention. It was one-sided. And people believe that what is happening today in River State, a lot of opinion sees as Wike is no longer fighting for any other thing than for to fight, to make sure he's weakening the institution, the political institution headed by Fubara in River State in order to deliver 
it to Mr. President come 2027. So Mr. President can never see as a neutral person in this matter. So I believe I listened to on the television program, I listened to is that Honorable Wesley Dausa and uh, uh, Prince Tony Cole or that about by Pastor Tony Cole where they were analyzing what happened. And Tony Cole suggested something. Tony Cole suggested that even specifically mentioned Pastor David D. B. O. Me, he mentioned Atedo Peter side and he mentioned uh, no, I think uh, Rufus had a judge. He mentioned th these three persons with some others that if they can come together with somebody like me, I've been advocating for this for a very long time. We have religious leaders, respected religious leaders of global uh, repute in River State. We have some top traditional rulers in River State. And we have top political leaders too in River State. These people could come together and call these two political gladiator, uh, gladiators together and see how to resolve this matter. I've been saying it. The resolution of this matter is not for Wiki and Sinfuba to go to a restaurant to eat, to call themselves for dinner or for this thing again. No, but for the peaceful coexistence among all and sundry in River State, for economy development of the people of River State, for security and safety of life and properties in River State. As it stands today, there are some friends that are no longer talking again. There are some husband and wife that are quarreling today. This one is simplified. This one is wicked. You understand? This is not good. There are some song. You, there's a, it's a particular song you sing today. Every wicked people will walk out of that place. There's another one you sing. Every simplified people will walk out of those places. So to me, there is no peaceful uh, coexistence today in River State. And in the absence of peaceful coexistence, that is to say, the security of life and property is not guaranteed. And when the security of life and property is not guaranteed, definitely what happened? The economy of that particular state will crumble. And apart from that, River State is a, one of the major states in this country where the revenue generating, that the federal government is generating either from the custom, from the Nigeria Port Authority, from oil and gas, River State is one of uh, those states. So if there is crisis, political crisis, and it engulf to a level of insecurity, definitely most of the oil companies staff in Nigeria will, in this particular uh, state will vacate. Bank will no longer work. A lot of the economy will crumble. When the economy of River State crumbles, it will affect enormously the economy of the country. So that I believe the internal leaders here, they could even talk to the internal fathers across the country because this is Nigeria we are talking about. The, uh, the religion leaders here could talk to their own people too in Lagos, in the north, and every other. Let them come together. It's not for the purpose of years of weekend and seeing Fubara is for the purpose of the people, property, economy, security of River State. It is very, very, it is very, very important now that it should be done before this thing move beyond this point. If we are getting to, the, the, the water is getting warm now. Do we expect it to get to boiling point? No. We should not allow it to boil. Right. Mr. what do you have to say to this statement that a political solution is needed? Yeah, every right-thinking person should know that the only solution to this crisis is political solution. Okay. Why do you say political solution? It has to be a yendeba, a yendeba. <coughs> and before you balance such a uh, equation, we have to understand from the viewpoint of uh, Okupe, I think um, he, he, he pointed it out that the, if river state crisis, as we have seen that rivers crisis have been on end there and there, in fact, trending in every media house and social media platforms and all that, 
and uh, it keeps generating. There is no how rivers people will fold their hand for someone who has served to come and lord it over them. And there is no how the person who has served with his own group will fold their hands and have the, their, 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 if I may call it, their stood boy, who was their boy yesterday and today a master, you know, overtake them, override them. You see that the crisis will seem to continue. Therefore, there is this need for the opinion uh, leaders in the state, the respected people who have attained some certain height, to come together and call these two persons. Because to me, you know, I, I still believe that Wike is a boy to someone, just as Fubara is a boy to someone. Nobody has grown, except if, 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 if it's somebody who just wants to be recalcitrant or who wants to be, you know, mischievous. To say I don't have a I don't have a, a master. No, no, no. But if we can have someone to whom he can listen, I think it is high time such people should come together. Just like in the in the advice um, uh, of uh, Toenko, Pastor Toenko, you know that some of these people should be called together. And I also want to include uh, uh, our former governor Peter Odele, you know, who played a very important role in the emergence of uh, Wike and sustenance of Wike's administration in River State, um, Odile and his wife, and um, Jonathan's wife also, who to a large extent played a role into bringing uh, Wike to governor, even when everybody was saying no, the uh, Equerius, the upline have ruled, let the river line come up. At a certain point, we asked, we said, let Dagogo come, Dago, uh, Dagoku rather, come up. And, uh, you know, these people imposed Wike on us, and immediately we discovered that Wike has been imposed, we all say, okay, since you are, you've won election, then you have to rule. And you saw us clapping for you. Imposition, you say? Yeah, he was imposed on, on, on the rivers. Was people. Amechi, was Governor Amechi, they then Governor Amechi out of favor with rivers people because no. of his position. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. He played because you're taking role. us back to history. He because he of his role. position in, in Good Luck Jonathan's presidential ambition. You recall the River State uh, Reserve Funds the allegation of River State Reserve Funds using it to buy presidential tickets for uh, um, Buhari then. There were issues in River State. And at that point in time, a lot of Rivers people fell had out with fell him. out with, yes. with Amechi which, which, at that time. Till tomorrow, till tomorrow, I, till tomorrow, I, when I look at what Nigeria is suffering under APC, I link it to Amechi. So when we come about the, the, the fallout of rivers people with Amechi, you discover that... He played that, that, he played that during the election. Yes, we saw so it. When, when, you, no, when, no, no, no. when you now say... Uh, when we uh, said that it, he was... The emergence of Wike was an imposition. It would have another... It you're, would have you're, been twisting, another you're twisting history. Not at all, not at all. Lee, we were here. Oh. We were here. We saw I was everything as well. very cleanly. Very, very clearly. And I was an election observer too. Good. You discover that in as much as Amechi had fallen out with uh, the Federal, and Wike was at the federal. Now we saw that, you know, when these political games are being played, you may not understand where it started. You recall that Wike was Amechi's uh, chief of staff. Mm -hmm. Now, when Amechi advised that Wike should go to the federal, Wike never liked it. But I don't want to go into those secret details. Let's leave them there. And uh, now he began to nurse the, the, the interest of, uh, you know, pushing the young man out. We can say, we say that Ukwere man has just finished. Ukwere man shouldn't continue. River State is not created for Ukwere's. Let another person, either Ogoni or Pure River Rhine. So it was ba on that basis that some of us began to say, let the cook come up. If the cook cannot come, let somebody from Ogoni come up. And after this time now uh, that uh, River Rhine has, we are expecting that... Dakuku's from... emergence was a problem at that time because yes. he was the anointed of Amechi and Amechi already Amici. had issues with Rivers people. Yes. Uh, so, 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 I, so, I to, so I not to, so so to twist history. Let's just discuss this yes, one. Yes, that's why I don't want to uh, take mm. us more Let's, long let's go to this one. Yes. You see, uh, only we have to come in. Mm -hmm. Rufus Ada George, we have to come in. Mm -hmm. Rufus Ada George. Uh, to echo, as he has suggested, not just David Ibiome, there are other outstanding ministers who are in this state and are of this state. And those who are even uh, non indigenous but have contributed immensely to the webbing of River State. These people can be called together. And let Wiki and some of his group come, uh, Fubara and some of his group come, they sit down. Now, here, 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 here. Take this. Here, 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 here. Take this. But let's reverse it work. Now, we can have governed for, for uh, eight years. 
We clapped for him. We named him Mr. Project and all that and all that. We thank God for him. I was discussing with my wife yesterday. I said, look, no matter what you do, you can't write away. You can't write off every good thing Wicke did. In as much as we are saying no to what some of the things he's doing now, but Wicke has helped us, in, especially in clearing hold up along Abba Road. It is, it is a milestone project, honestly, that deserves commendation. And we commend him for that. Now, coming to see that now he has handed over to Fubara. And Fubara need to be given free hand to govern the state so that we can also enjoy the dividend derived from his own administration. Instead of we can now say, okay, you have finished your own and you have gone, you want to stay for this one so that you will not do anything. One year has passed, one year plus. If I may, if I may ask you, Nze, what exactly is the problem between um, Governor Fubara and the FCT minister? The, the FCT minister has been asked what the problem is. He refused to say it. Nobody said anything. Governor Fubara has been asked over and Repeatedly, over and over what the problem is. He has refused to answer. So now, it is reverse people that are assuming, it is us Nigerians that are assuming that it is an um, existential fight. But the truth remains that if we are to analyze these things critically, that's where the issue now lies. See, how do you solve a problem? Jackson, how do you solve a problem that you don't know the foundation. Let, everything let me, let me anybody is speaking, every, anything anybody is talking about right now is merely conspiracy theory. And then when either uh, the FCT minister comes out to say categorically, this is what the issue is, or the governor himself comes out to tell reverse people, this is what both of them, with regards to the exact, what the exact problem is, both of them are secretive and tight-lipped. Let me say this. In as much as we understand, we are no longer babies. When a wife and husband are fighting, and you ask the wife, what is the problem? What's the cause of this fight? And the wife is not willing to say. You ask the husband, what's the cause of this fight? And the man is unwilling to say. Now you can deduce what the problem is, even though you don't get it completely correct. You cannot can, deduce. To an extent, to an extent. You, can, you, you just imagine. Whatever you, you just, deduce, you, it may be still boils down to. Or so not correct. Still guess what? Now, coming to, coming to what is happening here, uh -huh. you discover that the problem the FCT minister is having with the current governor of River State is, 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 is narrowed down to what transpired before the election. The agreements they have. Were which you we there when they had the agreement? Want, which we don't want to say because it has to come out from either the governor or the, 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 the FCT minister. Okay. Since they have decided to keep it secret, we will help them keep it. <laughs> but many of us, to a large extent, know all those things all right. and even know why some of these boys are hitting their heads, you know, like one or six and the rest of them. All right. Uh, Jackson, I, I, I asked you a question. How do you solve a problem you don't know? the fundamental issue. What, what is the issue about? Recently, I think about a week ago, uh -huh. on a television program, uh, yes, a week ago was a guest. Uh -huh. And uh, the anchor asked him that we heard it was for financial settlement. And yes, a week ago said no. What? And he said, the main reason that caused this problem was that the governor was trying to remove, impeach the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Uh -huh. And that was where the reaction. The reaction of that imp impeachment move by the governor uh -huh. was what led to this today. In that case, at least we can assess something. Uh -huh. What he said is a manifestation of a more fundamental problem. Yeah. Well, no, what he said, mm -hmm. no. That was, there was peace. Relative peace. There was peace before this uh, burning down of a river yes. state as of assembly as a result of people planning to impeach the governor. Mm -hmm. We can say it clearly that the governor was trying to impeach the speaker and the resistance of the majority members of River State House of Assembly cause all this problem we are facing today. Then from there, it was not they were not able to manage it and it escalated to what it is now. what it is today that in the global space now, 
River State, people are expecting new things every day from River State. And not in the positive, in the negative. So, but still, I still believe when there was a problem between Wiki and Amichi, there was a time Wiki said, I will talk. Roti Mitu will respond that if you talk, me too, I will talk. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we can never talk. And we can never talk. Mm. You understand? Yes. But maybe if they are before all these respected persons, they may open up. Maybe they may open up. But I don't think any of them will be able to open up to the public. So, you understand? So we, the public do not even know exactly what this fight is about. They are top loyalists. Mm -hmm. They don't know what the whole thing exactly. is. I was actually commenting that. The top loyalists of Wiki mm -hmm. do not really know what they are just following him. Go and fight. Go and quarrel. Go and speak. The same people following Fubara do not know. And it may remain in the mind of Wiki forever. And it may remain also remain in the mind of Fubara forever they may not be able to say it out. Now, in face of uh, this analysis that you've given, genuinely speaking, in your opinion, yes. do you see peace? Because the truth remains that a lot of water has passed under the bridge. Genuinely, a lot of water. Even uh, uh, Amechi and yes, or Wiki's issue was not this bad. Yes. We, what is present in River State? And you mentioned something about friends not speaking. Yes. I mean, on my show, one of my guests accused his very close friend of attacking him with boys during the local government elections. That's a reality. And, of course, across political divides, friends are no more friends anymore. They are no more talking. With the extent of bad blood, now is personal for a lot of people. Do you see peace? Do you see, even if it's manageable peace? I, I see peace. Wouldn't it be an act of God? I believe in God. But I believe God has given us wisdom to undo every other thing on earth here. We cannot just sit down in this studio and say, God, go to that my land at uh, Obibo mm. and continue to build it for me. It is not possible. You are insulting God because it's not our messenger. See, today, Former governor of River State is serving in the administration of Bola Metinubu. Whereas you can refer to Bola Metinubu as his principal today. Mm -hmm. You are saying? If Bola Metinubu today call on years of weekend, say my minister concentrate in Abuja. I don't want to hear you saying anything in River State again. Play your politics. Mobilize your people peacefully and quietly. Yes, we can win. Honor and obey. At the same time, being the commander in chief of the, of the Armed Forces Federal Republic of Nigeria, chief security officer of this country, in the same vein, Mr. President had the right to summon the governor. Say, come. If River State is on fire, nobody will enjoy what is going on in this country. I don't want River State on fire. Please, wait. Do your politics. Wait in 2027. But do your politics, call your supporters to order. Because if there is any trouble in River State, I will write to the National Assembly to declare state of emergency. The governor will obey. Because they know the implication of that. He wouldn't want his state to be engulfed. He will obey. Despite that there is not is not a staff of the president. But Mr. President, based on security, Mr. President has the right to warn the governor 
play your politics quietly, silently, peacefully. Call his own minister the same. You discover that relatively. That is like what I've told you here and told the world. Fubala and Wicked to come together today. We are not saying this will come together in order for the two of them to go to cinema together, to go and swim together. They should come together for the peaceful coexistence, economic development, safety, protection of life and properties in River State. That is the purpose. Right. And Mr. President will be able to do it separately. Call his minister to order. Based on security, call the governor to order. All right. And you see that we will have some peace in River State. All right.